Welcome to a new episode of my series about accessing hardware from a Qt GUI. In today's video I want to show you how to use combo and checkboxes in a little bit more details. Last video I've already showed you how to use checkboxes to turn the two onboard LEDs of the CP2112 USB to GPIO bridge board on and off. But for example I couldn't select the GPIO chip. So here on the system this is no problem because I only have one GPIO chip available, but on some systems you have multiple GPIO chips available, so it would be nice if you could select this chip dynamically. And for doing so we will need a combo box in Qt Creator. Ok, so let me show you what I have already done here. So this is basically the GUI from my last video. I have changed the GPIO class a little bit. So this class is used for um, turning the LEDs on and off and initializing the um, yeah the GPIO interface here. And what I've changed here is I've added the init function, which will return zero and success and a negative error code on failure, and a de init function, which will de initialize and the GPIO interface if it was already initialized. And that's already all I changed here. Okay, and today I want to use a combo box to dynamically select the GPIO chip which is used. And I will also show you how to use warning messages in Qt. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will add a combo box here. Yeah. And over this combo box, which I will call GPIO select, we will be later able to, um, yeah, to select the GPIO chip we want to use. So let me save this. And let's go back to, and yeah, let's go here, left click on it, no, right click on it, and let's add a slot with go to slots. And I will add the slot current index changed. Okay, so now down here you can see I have a new um, I have a new method here which is on GPIO cell current index changed and this function will be called when I change the index here. But first I have to find out all the GPIO chips on my system and therefore I need some header files. So I need include qdir for searching the dev slash dev folder for yeah, for GPIO chips, and I will need Q message box for um, yeah for using the message boxes or my warning box here. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is we will set up the combo box because currently it's empty and we have to fill it with some options. So let's do this, and therefore first we will search for GPIO chips. Okay, so I will add the folder or I will add an object from the type QDIR which I will call GPIO DIR and here I'm passing my dev um, folder. Now we will do the search and I will want to store the result in a QString list. I will call GPIO chips and this will be qdir and now I no gpio dir and now I will use the um, function entry list so this will convert the qd object into a string list and I only want to include the arguments which matches with GPIO chip and anything behind it. Okay. And the last argument here is the type of um, files or folders I'm interested in. And here I'm all only interested in system files. Okay, cool. And now let's add the um, found GPIO chips to the combo box. So therefore I will select GPIO cell, add items, or yeah, add items. And <clears throat> the first item I will um, add is QString list 
select GPIO chip. So by default, no GPIO chip is um, selected. And I will add two more things here. So the first one, the, or the next one here, will be our um, GPIO chips list we have found. And the last argument, or the last thing I will add here is GPIO chip X to show you how the warning message work. Okay. And what I will also do is I will disable the checkboxes. So by default, I don't want to be able to click on the checkbox because then nothing will happen. Therefore, I will call the method set disabled and I will set disabled to true. And I will do the same thing for LED2. Okay, and the next thing we have to do is we have to implement the current index changed callback. So the first thing I will do is I will call the, the init function of the GPIO object. Then I can copy the next two lines because I want to disable the checkboxes because as long as no GPIO chip is detected or set up, there is no need to tick the box. Then the next thing I will do is I will check if um, the argument here, so if my current index, which is stored in this argument variable here, starts with the string GPIO chip. Because it could be we select um, the select GPIO chip um, item and then I don't want to initialize anything. But in case this thing starts with GPIO chip, we I will try to initialize my CP2112 object. So the next thing I will do is CP2112 dot in the GPIO or yeah, first let's create the file name, which is from the type Q string, and the file name is slash dev slash plus org one. And this method needs a const string, and to convert Q string to const string, I will use the function Q printable. Okay. And in case this is smaller than zero, an error occurred and I want to show a warning message. For the warning message, I will use Q message box warning. The first argument here is the parent window, which is my main window. The next one is the title, which I will set to LED control warning. And the last um, argument here is the text we want to display and this will be can op can't open file name and, and yeah so this is looking good this is our warning but in case it worked and we were able to initialize the GPIO chip I will enable the checkboxes again so here I will pass a true and then set checked. So I will set checked to false. So by default with this uh, init function, all LEDs will be turned off. And I want my buttons or my checkboxes to be off too. And therefore I will use the function set, set checked with the argument false to reset the buttons as well. Okay, and that should be it. So let me try to compile and run it. Save all. Okay, the build was successful, so let's run it. Okay, we have a combo box and the first argument here is select GPIO chip and it found GPIO chip zero and it has GPIO chip X in it. If I select GPIO chip X, I get a warning message. Cool. And the title is LED control warning. And if I select GPIO chip zero, I should be able <laughs> to press the button now, but I'm not. So let me check if I can see why. Okay, and this is odd. Oh, yeah, I know why. <laughs> let me correct this. This is the wrong here. Here it must be. 
Okay, so if I build it now and run it, now it should work. So if I check it, now the boxes aren't enabled. And if I press it, yeah, you can see the LEDs are turned on and off. Oh, let's turn both on and let's select GPO chip X once again. And by selecting it again, the LEDs are cleared and the checkboxes are also not set. Okay, cool. So that was a little lesson about combo boxes and checkboxes in Qt Creator. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymycoffee.com slash for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.